This Saturday we will see Caleb Plant defend his IBF Super Middleweight World title against Caleb Plant. I'm going to break down this fight, give my prediction and see what you guys think. So Caleb Sweet Hands Plant, currently ranked as the third best super middleweight behind Canelo and Billy Joe. He's going to be making his fourth defence since winning the title in January 2019. Uh, he's 20, 28, um, so plenty of years in the tank. He's six foot one and he fights orthodox. And his current record is 20-0 and, and with 12 KOs. Caleb Truex, on the other hand, is 37. He's coming to the end of his career. He matches up the plant in that he's also six foot one orthodox fighter. And is coming in with a record of 31 wins, 19 by KO. Four losses and two draws. UK fight fans may remember Truax from his two fights with James DeGale. Now, I do remember both fights with Truax against James DeGale. I'm a massive DeGale fan. I absolutely love Chunky, to be fair. Um, and Truax is a real rough and ready type of fighter. He'll be looking to put pressure on you as much as possible coming forwards throughout the fight. You give DeGale an absolute nightmare. I thought he deserved the first fight. Uh, the second fight was really, really close as well. Um, so he does have the ability to mix with the best in the division. He's carrying a decent amount of power. No KOs of note on his record. And the champion Caleb Plant, since winning his title over Jose Uzcategui, sorry about any pronunciations there, um, has looked fairly inspired and inspiring. He's taken two soft defences going into this fight, which to me looks like he's just waiting for a big payday of a Canelo or a unified title match. Before this week, I hadn't seen too much of Plant, but I do like what I see. Against Uzcategui, he fought predominantly a counter-punching style, where he would look to land single shots with not too many combinations. Listening to the corner work, they were worried he'd gas up towards the end. And to be fair, he did drop off at the end of that fight. He did score two knockdowns in this fight as well. Then against Vincent Fain's Boots, again, pronunciation, do apologise. He was on the front foot a little more and took his opponent out in 10 rounds. But for this fight, he was throwing a lot more combination punches, putting a lot more pressure on. So I'm quite intrigued to see what a style he adopts this Saturday. So for my prediction, the De Gale win aside, whenever Truax steps in with class, he loses. His four defeats have come against Jermaine Taylor, Daniel Jacobs, Anthony Devell and De Gale. And this is what I believe will happen again this Saturday. I can see the early part of the fight, Truax putting the pressure on Plant and trying to back him up, landing lots of shots. But I feel he's going to get hit quite regularly when he comes in and tries to do this. And over the fight, over the course of the fight, these blows will slow Truax down. In the middle rounds 5-8, to eight, I see Plant taking over the fight, getting more and more success. And I feel if he wants to make a big statement and try and land the Canelo fight for September, he needs to be putting down a serious marker in this fight. My prediction, I believe he will go on and get the win by KO. Caleb Plant, round 9. You heard it here first. For UK fight fans, I don't believe this is being televised, but this was actually be quite easy to avoid. So get on YouTube and watch it back on your Sunday morning. Um, if you agree or disagree with this, comment below. Please hit the subscribe button and there will be regular videos coming your way.